Could I start by asking about Leighton Baines, um, his injury, and, and exactly what's happened there? Well, what happened was it was a, a relatively short training session. We'd we'd had the warm up, we'd had a little bit of passing work, and we're just about to go into a game situation, which had only just begun when he felt his hamstring, and immediately he he needed to stop the training because he's an experienced player, and he he obviously realised that something wasn't right. I can't tell you the extent that we'll have to wait until the doctors at Everton do their analysis, if you like, or their research into the injury. But it did mean, obviously, that he was out of the out of the question for tomorrow. And so Kieran Gibbs is, is the one who's going to come in because, unfortunately, we've given our squad at 11 o'clock, as we're duty-bound to do to UEFA, and because there were three left-backs, I left him out of the 23 because we had 24 players at the time. As it turns out, it's a pity that now we can't use him. Well, first of all, of course, I congratulate him, just like I've had the pleasure of congratulating Ashley Cole and Stephen Gerrard and, and Frank Lampard. I think it's quite incredible that during a, my watch as England manager, I can congratulate four players on playing 100 times for England. I'm delighted it's Wayne's turn tomorrow. Um, I think it's very difficult to, to summarise in a few words what makes someone such a great England player that they can amass 100 caps. Um, there's no doubt it's to do with quality and ability as a football player, but I think there's two other qualities that I think Wayne personifies, which are very, very important. The first one is mental strength and the ability to pick yourself up sometimes when under the enormous scrutiny all England players come under, you suffer some, some bad moments. And the second thing, I think, is an enormous passion for the country and wanting to play for the country and then to get through those periods when it must be quite easy for someone who's very talented to think, maybe it's time for me to walk away, and they don't. They keep going, they take the criticism, they take the scrutiny, they show the mental strength and they come back stronger than ever. I think, as the boss just said, there's been some, some good moments and bad moments. Um, you know, it's something which I've really enjoyed doing. It's always a great honour to play for England and something I want to carry on doing for a lot, a lot more years. So, um, I think the ultimate goal, which I've always said, is to win trophies. Um, and it's something which we're working towards doing. And, um, you know, to get it under caps and join the, the players who've reached that is a great honour for me and something I'm extremely proud of. Do you have a favourite moment in an England shirt? Um, I think my debut was obviously a massive moment for me at such a young age and then probably the tournament in 2004 was um, the one which stand out for me. It's, um, I scored four goals in it and <coughs> it was unfortunate to, to get injured and um, in the end going out but um, that was probably the highlight. Before a ball was kicked in this group, I think a lot of people felt Switzerland may be England's biggest rivals in Group E. But as the, the matches unfold, do you think perhaps it may be Slovenia, your opponents tomorrow, instead? I do. I think they've had a great start. I think beating Switzerland and beating Lithuania away, they could quite easily have had nine points like us because having watched the Estonia game, they were unlucky not to win that one too. So I think we're meeting an opponent tomorrow that's certainly going to ask a lot of questions of us but my hope is that we're going to ask even bigger questions of them that's that's the plan but we're we're, we're under no illusions as to the quality of the team we're meeting uh, we have respect for them we know they're good and it will be up to us to play the football we know we can play to to tame them